Good evening, a warm welcome to State of Business RTV's Prime Time News Bulletin. You're with me, Rukshi Panditratna. Let's take a look at the headlines first. <music> Government tables new bill to improve public debt management. PAFRAL urges authorities to elect best candidates devoid of corruption. And today on Top Stories, the government yesterday presented in Parliament a new bill to authorise the raising of loans in or outside Sri Lanka for the purpose of active liability management to improve public debt management. The bill was presented for the first reading by Chief Government Whip and Minister Gayanta Karunathilaka. The objective of the bill is to manage public debt to ensure the financing needs and payment obligations of the government are met at the lowest possible cost over the medium or long term with a prudent degree of risk. The new bill allows borrowing in advance for debt servicing in future. The government also presented a new bill titled Demutualization of Colombo Stock Exchange to convert the Colombo Stock Exchange, which is a company limited by guarantee, to a company limited by shares. According to the bill, the Board of Directors of the Demutualized Stock Exchange should determine the number of shares to be issued of the Demutualized Stock Exchange and value of the reserves to be converted to share capital for such a purpose within a period of one month from the date of conversion. The two bills will be moved for the second reading debate at a future date. Addressing a media conference convened by March 12 movement, the executive director of PAFRAL, Rohan Hetiarachi, urged the relevant authorities to appoint a suitable candidate to run for public office. Uh, as March 12 movement, uh, we have realized uh, these days the political parties are uh, preparing their, uh, uh, the main positions as a chairman and, and also the mayor, deputy mayor, in a, uh, the place where they have get the majority. And also we notice uh, the, the political parties are selecting their representative uh, from the PR list, especially the women representative and, and the, uh, the main, male representative from the PR list. So uh, we, we, have got, we have received so many complaints during last uh, one week period about these uh, selections, especially for the chairmen and the mayors in the uh, local authorities level. So we wish to, we wish to request from all the political parties the selections, uh, the, uh, the, the people of the country, they have uh, serious about these elections, but not, not, they, they were not considered the, uh, the local contest. They were considered the national politics and they, were, uh, they vote for the national political, nationally for their party leaders. So this is the time uh, the party leaders to pay the respect for their voters to select the best person uh, in, the, in the local authorities level to uh, run the local authority. Initially, uh, this will decide by the area organizer, even though it is law says that it, it is responsibility of the party secretary, but we know practically the area organizer is the one who really decide who is going to be the chair, who is going to be the, uh, the mayor of their uh, respective local authority. So we request to serious about these uh, situations by all political parties, party secretaries and also the uh, area organizers. Meanwhile, responding to a question raised by a journalist regarding the attempt to revise the level of women's representation in the local authorities, Executive Director of PAFRAL Rohan Hetiarachi expressed the following views. We never uh, thought about the revise the existing law. This is the longest standing struggle the last 30 years, to the almost three decades. Most of the civil society, women's organizations, we were discussing, we were struggling to bring the women's quota. So this is the first time we, are get, we, we, we have already got this 25% quota. In practically with the, this landslide result, some of the local authorities may not uh, complete the 25% quota because of the, the practical situation. Because in this law says, the election commission should make sure 25% quota uh, in the local government system after the elections. And at the same axis, if any party did not get 20% uh, of the, uh, the valid, out of the valid vote, and also uh, in any part, if any party did not get uh, more than three uh, representative, you are not compulsory to uh, give the women's uh, uh, representations. But that doesn't say that uh, the elections commission uh, can't uh, uh, allocate women's in the, the local authorities. So, the law clearly says that election commissions should make sure the 25% quota. 
uh, the, with the with the practical situations so they can they can uh, appoint whatever the possible numbers some local authorities maybe we we can appoint maybe 15% 20% some places maybe 25% some places maybe more than 25% so it is we can go as it is so we don't want to reverse the uh, the existing elections law and uh, what we should do is we need to bring this same law to the provincial level and also the parliamentary level but maybe in a different way we need to we need to uh, discuss what are the barriers what are the difficulties which we face with the existing system and we can modify it and we can bring it to the provincial and the uh, parliamentary level see you after this break Welcome back. The Slascom People's Summit 2018 was held in Colombo today for the seventh consecutive time. This year, the annual event was held under the title Transforming the Way We Think, Work and Connect. Slascom People's Summit 2018 aims to provide leaders at all levels with innovative talent management insights and perspectives from renowned global leaders along with prime networking experience sharing opportunities. This year, the event brought together over 300 human resource professionals and business leaders representing IT, BPM and other industries. The main objective of the summit is to expose the audience to international best practices, cutting-edge trends and insights delivered by renowned HR practitioners within the region and to provide an excellent networking opportunity for attendees to meet and share experiences. We are honoured to have some amazing speakers and, and very eminent practitioners and thought leaders in their respective areas to come share with us today their areas of expertise, as well as their views of where we're heading in the future. Um, I, I think it's a very exciting and interesting time that we live in right now, globally and in for humanity as at large. We're very much at a very transformative situation, right? Um, a lot of what we know has been disrupted, and, and it's almost like living in the vortex. Some of it is just happening and you don't even realize, right? You kind of look back and look this way and everything's changed. Um, it could be quite unsettling, but it's also quite exciting. I think for those of us who are able to make sense of it, who are able to really grapple with some of the changes and then get ahead of it, these definitely are one of those transformative opportunities to leapfrog and to really chart a new course for ourselves and, and for all those around us. And, and closer to home, I think it's also a very transformative opportunity for Sri Lanka. Never before, I don't think, we've had this kind of opportunity to make a lasting impact. As leaders, as all of you kind of soak in all the insights, the discussions, and the debates that are going to happen today, um, I want you to walk away with also understanding that it's very much a responsibility for us, right? It's a learning opportunity, but I think also as leaders, this is a responsibility for us to really understand and then be able to support all our co-workers and our team members through these uncertain times, yet very opportunistic times as well, to make sure that we make the most of what's ahead and really let Sri Lanka shine bright. Let's take a look at stocks after this break. Welcome back. Trading at Colombo Stock Exchange ended on a positive note today. The All Share Price Index gained 12.21 points to close at 6,577.84, and the SP SL20 gained 15.03 points to close at 3,714.75. The turnover was 862.8 million rupees, and 81 million shares were traded. Let's take a look at today's Forex rates. Thank you for watching State of Business. See you tomorrow at the same time. Till then, take care. Good night.